Hello everybody, welcome back. Bam Deadstroke here for a deck tech video. Um, I'll be going over the deck that I am running for game day uh, at my local game store. So uh, let's just jump right in. We'll start with the creatures, then we'll go on to removal and other instants and sorceries. Then we'll touch the lands a little bit and then we'll go into sideboard. Um, so yeah, first off with the creatures, running a two of Baral, Chief of Compliance. Um, I just really like this card. Uh, I'm a huge fan of anything that reduces the cost of my things as well as uh, gives me an advantage when I cast those things. So Baral was a really easy uh, include into this deck. Uh, next up we have two of Kalidas, Trader of Get. Uh, really good against aggro. Um, if you can make him stick against control um, or in a mirror match, uh, he's really good. Um, gives you a good, just just a great card. Um, uh, you can sacrifice a zombie or a vampire to put two on encounters on him, and then you get that zombie when a non-token creature an opponent controls would die. And he's also a little bit of life gain for the deck, um, which is about the only life gain in this deck. Uh, next up is one of the uh, main finishers of the deck. We have two of Demon of Dark Schemes. Um, big 6-6, six, six, sorry, 6 mana, 5-5 five, five flyer. Um, really good uh, board wipe uh, against aggro. Uh, just a big threat to deal with. Avoids Fatal Push, Grasp of Darkness. Uh, just a lot of the key cheap removal in standard right now. And um, finally for the creatures... Um, we got two Torrential Gear Hulk. I'd like to have three or four, um, but right now um, these are the two that I have. Um, I'll touch on the Planeswalkers here really quick also. Uh, one Jace, Unraveler of Secrets, and one Obnixless Reignited. Um, Jace is really, both of them are really good for card advantage uh, as well as uh, removal. Uh, Jace is kind of a, it's a bounce as opposed to just unconditional removal. And then both emblems could essentially win the game. Um, Obnixilus for sure, and then Jace. Just really hard to deal with the emblem uh, when you're countering the first spell that your opponent casts each turn. Sorry, my throat's a little bit sore, so if I have to take a break for water. That is why. Um, so those are the creatures and planeswalkers of the deck. Next we will hit the instants and sorceries. I will start with the removal package that I'm running. Um, so we'll start off with a pair of Fatal Push. Uh, really good, cheap removal. Um, just good against aggro, good against Mardu vehicles, good against um, just a bunch of really, really good cards in standard right now. Um, just really good, cheap removal. and. Uh, it's kind of hard to trigger Revolt in this deck. Um, I'm thinking of running some Evolving Wilds uh, instead of a couple basics just to help trigger Revolt a little bit easier. Uh, next up we have four Grasp of Darkness. Uh, just again, another really good uh, removal spell for Mardu vehicles, for aggro, just really good two mana instant speed. Uh, just uh, one of my favorite removal spells in standard right now. Uh, next we'll have one of the Planeswalker removal spells, uh, two Ruinous Path. Uh, I'd like to pick up a Never to Return uh, at the game store tomorrow before before game day starts. And finally another Sweeper, uh, Yeheni's Expertise, one of which is the promo from Ether Revolt game day. Um, so all three, all creatures get minus three, minus three until end of turn, and then I get to cast a card with converter mana cost three or less from my hand without paying its mana cost. Uh, so it's really mana efficient for four mana. Um, it's been compared to Languish. Um, I think it's better than Languish actually, um, because I get to, you know, I can cast it and then I can play a Baral for free, or I can play a, you know, something, I can play a Grasp of Darkness and finish off that, you know, Torrential Gear Hulk or that, you know, some something else that's uh, that's too big for just one of the removal spells to handle. Uh, so that's it for the removal of the deck. Um, 
I decided to get go a bit more removal heavy as opposed to counter spell heavy. Uh, we'll get to the counter spells a little bit later, um, but now I'll go to the card advantage stuff, card draw stuff. We got four anticipate. Um, really good card advantage. I like playing this end step turn two. Uh, just get that extra card going. Um, also really good with Baral. Uh, you can it's. It's not it's not brainstorm level, but uh, you know one mana to look at the top three cards and to put one into your hand uh, is really nice. Uh, next card, Glimmer of Genius, another full play set. Um, again, really good with Baral. Uh, there's not really uh, a card that's better in my opinion than Glimmer of Genius at a four drop right now. Uh, you could argue, you know, running another Yehenny's Expertise or you know, some, like a summary dismissal or a counterspell of some sort. Um, but I really like Glimmer of Genius here. Um, so now, the, uh, those are the cart main card advantage spells. Uh, of course, Brawl allows you to draw a card and discard a card when you counter something, so you gotta have counter spells uh, to go with Jace's Emblem. So we got two spell shrivels. Uh, counter it unless they pay four. That spells, if it's countered, it gets exiled. And the other exile counter spell, a three of Void Shatter. Uh, mainly because I have three Void Shatter. I cannot find a fourth one to save my life. Um, but that's fine. You know, we got five counter spells. But like I said, I decided to go a little bit heavier on removal. Um, and then the main uh, card, I guess, of the deck. Uh, the big the big finisher uh Dynavolt Tower. I really dis I really debated uh back and forth between Dynavolt Tower and Metallurgic Summonings and I decided to go with Dynavolt Tower. Uh it's really good if you can get multiples of it out uh, much like Metallurgic Summonings. Um but I just figured Dynavolt Tower um it was a little bit cheaper at the time. I think they're about even right now, maybe a little bit cheaper still. Than metallurgic summonings. Um, also, this one uh, three mana as opposed to I think metallurgic summonings being five mana. Uh, so it's a little bit faster to get out. Also, uh, there's a bit more uh, tutoring available and card draw available, mostly tutoring. Uh, but we'll get to that once we get to the sideboard. Uh, so that is the main card of the deck. Um, I'll touch on the lands really quick. Like I said, um, thinking of taking out a couple basics for some Evolving Wilds to help trigger revolts. So we have five dual lands, three Sunken Hollow, and two Choked Estuary. Uh, I'd like to eventually get some Fetid Pools, uh, the blue-black cycling land, and then we've got eight Swamps and ten Islands. Might take out a couple of those again for some Evolving Wilds, but you know, you can mess with those as you please. And as we head to the sideboard, um, sideboard is mainly a meta call. Um, my sideboard isn't super, you know, I wouldn't say that it's the best sideboard in the world. Um, but we're running three Transgress the Mind. Um, good against, you know, Ulama, uh, Aetherworks Marvel, uh, Ulamog, stuff like that. Uh, hits Marvel and Ulamog and stuff. Um, thinking of putting in Lost Legacy just as an extra you know, hit on Ulamog, and also Dispossess is an extra hit on, you know, Mardu Vehicles or Aetherworks Marvel. Uh, two Negates as some extra counter spells. A one of To the Slaughter is some removal. Uh, not really, it's not super uh, easy or hard really to trigger Delirium. Just kind of there. Um, we run two War of Invention. Here's the uh, tutoring that I talked about. Um, search your library for an artifact card with converted mana cost X or less, which is also affected by Baral, so you can really only pay, if you pay 5 mana on end step to get a, uh, a second or third or fourth Dynavolt Tower, really good. Um, just another card draw spell also in sideboard with Reverse Engineer, a 3 of. Uh, improvise, you know, if you don't have enough energy to use Dynavolt Tower, it's really good and this will help you get to enough energy. Uh, and then we'll also play a three of part the water veil, uh, more so for metallurgic summonings. This was in here anyway, um, but I just love taking extra turn spells, so I figured why not play part the water veil. 
And finally, a one of Sphinx of the Final Word as another finisher. Seven mana, five, five, flying hexproof can't be countered, and instants and sorcery spells you control can't be countered by spells or abilities. So that is my blue black Dynavolt Tower deck list that I will be taking to game day tomorrow, being Sunday. Um, I'm looking to have fun. Um, I'd like to do, you know, better than 04 <laughs> or uh, whatever I normally do. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on Twitter as to how well I do. Uh, I will be tweeting about that every round, uh, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll let you guys know the, the meta of my game store and stuff. I'm hoping uh, I can, you know, again, better than 04 is obviously the goal. So, uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like if you have any way for me to improve this deck after game day, outside of the research I gather from my local meta. Uh, be sure to leave a comment um, explaining that. Uh, I will definitely be looking at the comments, um, seeing how to improve the deck. Um, other than that, thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, go subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.